Hello everybody, it's Anne Bergen and I'm back with another craft fair idea. This idea is something that I've been really wanting to make and I've got, I've had all the materials for a long time and I just now finished making them. So I want to share them with you. These are excellent sellers at craft fairs. I always sell out of these every year. And what these are, are their shopping list holders and the materials that you're going to need for this is just some really nice thick cardstock. You can use eight and a half by eleven, and I used the Recollections cardstock from Michaels. And you can all, I also used a couple sheets of the Paper Tray Ink cardstock. That's really nice and thick. Also, you're gonna need a shopping list pad. You can pick up really really cute ones in the Target Dollar Spot, Michaels, the Dollar Tree, for like a dollar. Okay, so you're gonna need that. You're gonna need some design paper and like, you know, the normal paper trimmer, your scoring board, scissors, glue, and then you're gonna need some pens. And I got um, a bunch of pens from the Target Dollar Spot, but I will show you what I did with those because I'm gonna have to go out and pick up some different pens for my Christmas shopping lists. So I'm gonna show you all the ones that I made and then we're gonna do, I'm gonna do a quick tutorial on how to put these together the way that I did them. Okay, so here are all the shopping lists that I made. I made Christmas ones and just normal everyday ones. So, let me pull one out here. I'm gonna pull out one of my favorites. First, we'll do a Christmas one. So, let me kind of walk you through what I did. Okay, so here's one of the Christmas ones that I made. This one is really cute, and all I'm doing over here with the ribbon is tying it in a cute little knot. So on the front here, I just cut the paper, I cut the base um, to fit the notepad, and then I put this really cute design paper down, and I made this cute embellishment on my computer. I just printed out, or I printed out the Christmas lists sentiment, and I just cut it down and used my corner rounder and put some of the same colored cardstock that the base is here, and just popped it up on foam adhesive. You can kind of see. And I actually popped both both pieces up. I popped the cream color sentiment piece up on a foam dot and the back piece. So it's kind of whimsical and kind of cutesy. All right, so let's go in. Like I said, I just tied these in really simple knots. No bows needed on these. And I got this satin ribbon from Michaels, just to celebrate it brand. And okay, so inside here, I designed this to be just the shopping list over here, and I didn't want to glue the shopping list down. I actually made a pocket for it, so it just slides down into here, and when this is all done, you can just go to the store, get a new one, and slip it down in there. So I thought that was better than gluing it down and having to throw this space away. And then I created a pocket over here for coupons or receipts or whatever you would need this pocket for. And it was the simple, this is the simplest project you guys, it's so easy. Here's the back. So let me show you one of the non-Christmas ones. And this is one of the skinnier ones that I made. There's also bigger ones in here that I'm going to show you in just a second. So here's one that's not Christmas. And I didn't tie the ribbon, but you can kind of see. So I just made this on my computer again. It says notes and lists. And I just used the Recollections cardstock, added this cute design paper. And I used one of these from Michaels. I got this Mary Inglebright shopping list from the Michaels $1.50 spot. I used the same paper collection over here to make the pocket. And actually, this is the size of all the pockets on the shopping list holders. I kind of messed up on this one and I cut it too small, but I just went with it. So anyways, this is the size of the pocket. So you can slip in, you have coupons or receipts, or if you want to um, tear off your list and stick it over here, and just grab it and go to the grocery store or whatever. This is a little pocket for that. So again, I made a pocket here for the notepad to slip into. And here is the back. 
So I'm going to go ahead and set this to music and fast speed and show you all these really cute shopping list pads that I made. And then when we come back, I will do a short tutorial. Enjoy! here. So for the size of this pad, I use this template. So these are the ones that you can get at Michael's and they're also the same size as some of the bigger ones at the Target dollar spot. So for that, I cut my paper at nine and a half, my base paper um, at nine and a half by eight and a quarter. So the first thing that I'm going to do is take my base and like my template said here, I cut it at nine and a half by eight and a quarter. So I'm going to do some scoring. The first thing that I'm going to do, and I'm going to turn it my way since we're kind of backwards, but I'll talk you through it. So you're going to put it on your nine and a half inch side on your scoreboard and you're going to score it at each end at four and a half. So you're going to do four and a half on each side. So here's four and a half, so I'm going to score it, and then I'm going to turn it around and score it again at four and a half, and that gives it a nice half inch gusset right here. So then what you're going to do is just fold it on your score lines. I like to um, crease it down with my bone folder. And this is just so simple. That's really all that's to the base of this. I'm not gonna round my corners. I think I rounded my corners on just the non-Christmas ones. So the next thing you're gonna need are two pieces of decorative paper. So in my case, I'm using these two designs. So on the inside for the pocket here to slip the notepad in, you're gonna cut it, here's my little cheat sheet again, at five by four and a half. Now, remember, this here, from the score line to the end here is four and a half inches. And I've already, for video purposes, I've already put down my score tape, and I use the one eighth of an inch score tape on this. If you don't have that size, you can just make your base a little bit bigger so you can use the quarter inch score tape or you can do a small bead of wet glue. Okay, so now we've got our pocket here where we're gonna slip our notepad in. Now I'm gonna do the pocket that goes over here for coupons and receipts and things like that. So again, for video purposes, I've already put the score tape on there. you can put you know receipts coupons in here and save them 
Now we're gonna go ahead and adhere our ribbon to the back here. So I'm gonna use a strip of this quarter inch score tape along the back. Usually I would use my ATG gun, but I ran out of ATG tapes. So I've already put score tape on the back of these as well. Like I said, I'm out of ATG tape. So for video purposes, I've already put the score tape on. So let's place them down. our little holder and here's the cover here's the inside and then here's the back cover and I really like how this makes it nice and clean so where you don't have to throw this away because you're not gluing down a notepad you can actually tuck it in this little pocket so next you're gonna insert your notepad these have two magnets now if yours has one on the bottom remove that magnet which I already did here and you're also going to cut just a little bit, like a quarter inch off the bottom so it doesn't tear through the bottom of the pocket. Okay, so let's go ahead and slip it in there. I just like to get it in there and then I go straight down because there is score tape on each end and I don't want it to tear through. So once I get it straightened, I'm just gonna go ahead and push it down. And it's a very tight fit, but it stays nice and snug. So you can replace it when the paper runs out. Okay, so now here's our little shopping list holder. And the only thing left to do is embellish it. So what I did was I made a little embellishment. So what I did is I just made little sentiments on my computer and printed it off. And here it is. And I use this really cute font that I got off of an app on my iPhone. And I just put the same color of the base cardstock behind it, and then I just use my corner rounder to make it decorative. So we're gonna place that right here. And also I popped this up on foam dots, so it's kind of dimensional. And I also put some foam adhesive on the back of this, so let's adhere that down. So here is our finished shopping list holder. I just added this little cute little embellishment. I tied this ribbon in a knot, so let's go in and see. And then you open it, you can stick coupons and things over here. And this here is your shopping list, and it's got all these pages. And you can replace it once this is out. There's a little pop. Thank you all so much for watching and I know a lot of people always ask about my pricing and I always forget to mention it when I'm first starting the video so I'm going to sell these for $5 each at my craft fair. I think that's a pretty fair price and anyways I just want to thank you all so much for supporting this craft fair series and for commenting and subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. and. Hopefully I will have several more videos up for you this week because my first craft fair is Saturday. I do work full time so I have the evenings to work on my craft fair projects and the weekends. So hopefully I can get everything done and get some more videos up. Thanks again for watching everybody. Have a great week. Bye bye.